all right all right welcome back guys welcome back to the channel um welcome back to try and francis fine art for today's episode what i want to do is i want to share the process of how i created another african shape wall hanging how i constructed the entire thing importantly i want to share how i chose my colors how i mix the colors and what inspired me to create that design on top of it um if you're new to the channel, Troy and Francis Fine Art is a channel dedicated at sharing my artistic process with you, the viewer. Um, I created the channel because I wanted to share and I also wanted to record my progress as the years or the days or the months go by. I want to see where I started and I want to see where I end up at the end of the day and just follow that process and that entire progress. Um, thank you for tuning in. Without further ado, we're just going to run right into the video. Um, hopefully you like it. If you do find the content interesting and you like the content um, and you think that this is something cool, please like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Um, without further ado, we're just going to run right into the video. So here we go. Tune in, relax, and let's go. So this is how I chose the design that I wanted. Um, I'm giving an example on a small sheet of paper um, because it's important to plan your design first before you actually um, do it on a larger piece. So on this small sheet, small Africa, uh, what I wanted, I wanted a simplistic design and I wanted to have a lot of color contrast. I wanted to make sure that each shape had a completely different color. So I broke up the shape, this large African shape into smaller shapes. Um, I was inspired by Art Nouveau and Art Deco. And through doing my research, I realized that the line work and the large flat shapes was what they used to create the Art Deco and Art Nouveau style. Art Nouveau is a little bit more technical. Art Deco is more geometrical, a lot of symmetry and so on. So I wanted to fuse those two styles together. So I came up with this simplistic style. It's one of my normal styles, just simple lines and shapes. I use three circles and you're gonna see it on a larger piece. The three circles that I used, um, I had a bigger one, a medium one, small one. That's what you call a variety. It's the same circle, but there's a variation of sizes. So I have to remember that. Just to keep it interesting, I gave it the variety. But yeah, that's how I chose the design. And that's where the design came from. The Art Nouveau and Art Deco um, combination. So after I have my design, I decided to add color. I had already decided that I wanted to use earth tones, particularly brown. Now, all I had to do was to mix yellow, red, and blue. Once I mix that together, I have that base brown color, which my entire color design will be based off. But there's a trick. In order to break up this brown into a variety of different types of brown, depending on what you want, you can add a little bit more yellow, a little bit more red, a little bit more white to give it a light brown, red to give it reddish brown, yellow to give it a yellowish brown. What that does, that gives you a chance 
to break up the brown into a variety of different browns. It's brown all throughout, but it's a variety of different ones. That allows your piece to look a little bit more coherent and it makes it easier on the eyes. It makes it look cohesive. Yeah, that's the word, cohesive. Now, although all of these colors are different, they are all based on the color brown. Some of them are a little bit more orange because I added orange. Some a little bit more light because I added white. Some are a little bit more yellowish brown because I added yellow. And that's what gave me a variety of brown colors. Now, that outline that I'm using I don't normally use black, so I wanted to use a dark, dark tone color. I decided to use purple, and that allows the design to still look cohesive, but yet still have that dark, dark purple that separated all of those colors. Very important, if you're creating your design, make sure that every color that is beside another color is completely different you can repeat colors yes you should but do not repeat the same color beside itself it's just gonna look like one whole color just break it up and spread it out all over the design absolutely So what you're gonna realize is that for every single color, I actually had to go and give it multiple coats of paint. So what that does, it that gives the color a nice, rich, flat appearance. Now the Japanese, they call this type of, of, of painting super flat because all the colors or each color is completely flat. There's no blending, there's no streaks. It's just one flat, consistent color in each area or in each shape.
guys so we've come to the end of another video um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for watching the entire video um, um, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this design did you like it did you not like it I think I could do something else to it what about the video I think I could do other things to the video to get the video a little bit more interesting let me know in the comment section below i'm always open to constructive criticism i want you to check out my etsy shop uh, at try and francis fine art on etsy um where i have a number of different wall hangings here you can go check that out um but yeah i had a blast doing this wall hanging it was a bit simple because I wanted to try something a little bit different. Most of my designs are simplistic, but um, I wanted to try something a little bit different and see how it would look again, day by day, week by week. I think the work is getting a little bit better each time and I'm building up and seeing how I can get the work looking a lot better. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope that you liked it. Um, until next time, I want you to go out good and I want you to tune in next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you.